hey guys welcome back yet to another upcycling video for today's project i'll be transforming this plastic bucket into a beautiful tv stand please stay tuned and watch till the end so first of all i had to get rid of the lid because i wasn't using the lid for this project and also got rid of the side handle so first of all i had to cut the plastic part which was holding the handle on the sides After removing the handles, I went ahead to flatten the bucket by getting rid of the protruding part which was on the top of the bucket. So I had to use an exacto knife to cut off that part. Cutting off the protruding part of the bucket was the hardest part in this project because the material that was used on top of that bucket part, it was so hard compared to the bucket itself. Once I was done, I proceeded to the next part, which was making the markings onto the bucket so as to guide me on cutting the bucket into two halves. As you could see, the lines were very visible, so they'll guide me on cutting the bucket into two halves. So I proceeded by cutting the bucket using a hacksaw. So I was trying my best to make sure the bucket is cut properly by following the markings that I had made earlier. For those who are joining this channel for the first time, my name is Roxy Nemis. I normally do simple home decor DIYs. If you're interested in seeing more of my videos concerning the upcycling and the recycling videos, please don't forget to subscribe on to my channel and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. I had to use all means so as to make sure I could cut the bucket into halves and after struggling finally I, did, I ended up cutting the bucket into two halves. To make the TV stand I had to use an MDF board which I had at home it was just a leftover from a previous project. I had to draw the semicircle shape that i needed onto the sides of the tv stand i used the plastic bucket to guide me on drawing the semicircle onto the mdf board i then took my jigsaw to cut off the shape onto the end of the mdf board I then used a rough sandpaper to sand the MDF boots to smoothen the rough edges. To make it easier to use the two halves, I had to cut off the lower part of the bucket and left it just as blank as the upper part of the bucket. And this is how I placed it onto the end of the MDF board and proceeded to secure it using hot glue gun so that it can be easier to add in screws. On to my returning subscribers, I'd love to say thank you so much guys for supporting Rock's enemies this far, it's you guys. Thank you for watching my videos and also sharing them with your friends and family. I proceeded doing the same thing on the other end and this is how the frame of the TV stand turned out. Onto the next part was adding the screws. By adding the hot glue onto the inner part of the bucket was just to make sure it is held well in place so as to make it easier to add the screws onto the edges. I did the same thing onto the lower part of the TV stand frame. I added the MDF board and placed the bucket 
just as I did onto the top part of the TV stand. Then used hot glue to secure the bucket in place before proceeding to add the screws onto the edges of the bucket. To make my TV stand more sturdy, I had to recycle some chipboard that I had in my store, just an old chipboard. I had to cut it into pieces which would fit perfectly on the middle part of the TV stand and then proceeded to placing the chipboards onto the place that I needed in this TV stand. I was trying as much as possible to recycle the items that I had at home without purchasing any MDF board or a chip board. After placing them, I went ahead to secure them using some screws. I had made some pivot hole earlier so as to make it easier to add in the screws onto the chipboard. Onto the lower part of the TV stand, I did the same just as I did on the top part. I added some screws to secure the chipboard in place. To cover the back part of the TV stand, I had to use an MDF plywood that I had at home. So I had to cut it into the size that I needed to cover the back part. And to secure it on the back, I had to use some staple pin. After adding the back part, this is how the TV stand turned out. So I proceeded to the next part which was covering the holes in preparation for the painting. So I had to use a body filler from that company, you can just read the name. So those who are in Kenya, you can get this at your local auto paint shop. So I had to add some hardener so as to make sure the filler dries faster. So I proceeded by adding the filler all round on the opening which were visible on the TV stand. Once the filler had dried, I went ahead to sand off the excess filler onto the top part of the TV stand. By sanding, just removes the excess filler to give you a smooth finish. There's normally a lot of preparation when painting an MDF board. As I promised you guys, I'll post a video on how you prepare an MDF board for painting. So this was just my TV stand. I had applied the primer at first. That's why it was gray in color. And then after the primer had dried, I went ahead to spray the first white coat of the paint that I wanted on my TV stand. So I used my gun to spray the white paint all round so this is the first coat and after three coats this is how the tv stand turned out i proceeded on decorating the tv stand using some gold tape the gold tape is self-adhesive i have used it in most of my video i was trying to recycle this tape i had used it from a previous project so that's why i had to add some hot glue so as to make sure the tape holds in place onto the bucket the reason why I used the tape is to cover the screws which were visible and also the scratches which were visible because of cutting the top part of the bucket. I did the same thing. I used a small adhesive, self-adhesive gold tape to cover the screws which had added onto the lower part of the TV stand. If you're interested in such self-adhesive gold trims, I'll put their contact in the description box of where you can get them. You can use any decoration of your preference to cover the screws and also the scratches on the bucket. Also, you can use the bling wraps if you they are locally available in your country. So that's why I had to use these gold tips because they are locally available. After adding the gold trims on both sides, this is how the TV stand turned out. I proceeded to the 
last part which was adding the app story legs i got this app story legs from a local shop i'll put the contact in the description box i had to use the black legs instead of the gold ones so as to prevent the tv stand from having so much gold in it so for those who are interested in such legs uh, just check out the contact in the description box so to secure the legs onto the tv stand i had to use some screws Once I was done, I overturned the TV stand and proceeded to the last last part which was removing the protective film of the gold trim. I had to use some gold trim which I had at home that's why you could see they had different protective film color. And once I was done, I wiped the TV stand and after placing the TV, this is how the TV stand turned out. Let me know in the comment section what you think about these simple upcycling projects that I have just made. I love how beautiful it has turned out. I love how the gold, white and the black color blends in perfectly. guys if you love this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up let's get to a thousand thumbs up and i'll give this video to one of my subscribers thank you so much guys for watching if you're interested in seeing more of my videos don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever i post a video